in today's session, that is chapter one, we will be basically taking you through Excel overview, give you an understanding of what Excel is all about, why do you use Excel and why is Excel so common and so useful everywhere. We'll understand how to start an Excel, how to launch it, how do you customize it according to your preferences, and also, most importantly, save and close it. So let's get started. To start off with, what is Microsoft Excel all about? To explain this, let me just take an example. Imagine you are working for a company. You're working as a HR for that particular company. And your primary job is to ensure that you keep a record of all the employees in the company and against their particular department. So if you're working for a company, you have to note down all the employees, their departments, and also more details such as when they joined, which team, what shift they are doing, or any other information which could be helpful. So say your boss or your manager comes a day and asks you to give an employee detail of a particular department. If you have it in a particular notepad, you probably have to search it between many, many sheets to go to that particular department and get the employee details. Further to that, if he asks you for multiple details and not just for an employee, but for many employees, imagine how difficult it can get. So the simple concept is you use something like a row to column or in lines you mark it one, two, three, four, and then you put all the employee details and the departments and such and certain other information. Now this, it makes it comfortable on a, spare, on a piece of paper. But if you really have to use some information for a particular department, imagine how difficult it can get. So that is why Excel can be used for a lot of feature, with its lot of features for a lot of useful information analysis. So one of the most important feature of Excel is for analysis, to utilize mathematical operations, inbuilt functionalities to get you the desired result. So what is Microsoft all about? Microsoft Excel all about? Well, in simple terms, it's a software applications. You can use it to perform a lot of logical mathematical statistic calculation on data. It has a basic feature of spreadsheet. Remember, I was talking about those lines, right, where you can put in the data. So similarly, in Excel, you have something called spreadsheets, and it is arranged in a grid of cells, which is in turn arranged in rows and columns. We will see more about this as we progress, but then simply put, Microsoft Excel is a spreadsheet where you can use data use inbuilt operations to analyze, sort, and do what you want with it. Not just that, with the data available, you could create charts, you could use those charts in a PowerPoint presentation, and then represent that data graphically. So if the question for you in your mind is, what is Excel commonly used for? I would say, simply put, it is to utilize data Store data in an easier way, analyze it, calculate data according to your requirements, your process, your team, uh, important. And then you also use the data to create graphs, charts, etc. These are some of the most common features or usage of Excel. But then more, the Excel is an ocean by itself. You can create multiple things depend on what your requirement is and we will see some of them in upcoming chapters. Hope this got you excited because I am surely. And let's see what is Excel all about in the next topic. Okay, so now you've got an overview about an Excel. You understood what Excel is all about. We spoke about a spreadsheet concept where you have rows, columns. I'm sure you're excited to see just in case you have not seen it till now. So in this particular chapter or in the next couple of minutes, I'll be showing you how to launch in Microsoft Excel, how you could customize it according to your usage. And of course, once you launch, you might have to close it, right? Or you will have to close it. So how will we close, save it appropriately. 
So let me quickly go to the demo so that you could see and learn. Great. So now this is your first look of Pixel, just in case you haven't seen it yet now. So the first thing which strikes you is, you see there are three sheets. There is sheet one, sheet two, and sheet three. Now what is this? Of course, an Excel has some inbuilt features. You can see tabs, home, insert, page layout, and so on. But then the first thing which you might have noticed is the sheet. So to explain this, let me just take a notebook. So imagine a notebook. You have multiple sheets, right? Where you can write different, different topics, different subjects, different uh, information. Similarly, in Excel, you have multiple sheets for your usages. Now it's not just not just that. It's just not limited to three sheets. You can add multiple sheets and how to do that we will see in the later chapters. So all these sheets put together is called as a workbook. So you understood, right? Simple. These are sheets. All this put together, this whole content is called a workbook. Okay. So now I'm going to use this particular sheet. I'm just going to type in, in sheet one. Let's go back to our example which we spoke about. I have joined a HR firm and I am a HR. So I am going to note down the employee details. So I'm just going to put a header over here called employee details. And just simple date of joining. Okay, so I have one new employee who's joined me today. So I'm just putting in the employee name and date of joining it would be around say 1st of Jan 2015 okay so this is how I've entered data into Excel once you do that you want to save it but just before you save this I just want to show you something else if you noticed over here every time you open an Excel the Excel opens up as book one. If I open another Excel now, it will show that has book two and this has book one. So as a default, Excel will have three sheets and it will always name it as book one. So this is something which I have worked, right? So let me save this. So how do I save this? So I go click on the Windows button over here. As soon as I click that, I have a set of tabs which I can use. For now, I'm just going to use save as and there is another button called save. So the difference between these two is very simple. Save has is used when you're using it for the first time and thereafter if you're using an Excel, modifying it, adding, removing data, then you just use save. We will talk about shortcut as we proceed but for now just let me save my first Excel. So I click on save has. There you go and let me put this on my desktop okay so should what should i name it i will name it as my first excel chat so that's my new excel name and if as you can see the extension or the way the excel is saved has dot xlsx okay so i click it as soon as i do that notice the changes so my book one is no longer book one it is my first excel jan okay so that's simple so we just saw how you launch the excel and then you save it now let's take there's another employee who's joined i will put it as run two and he joined on 2nd of Jan 2015 okay so I have just modified the Excel now if I close this and I do not save it this particular data will not be there so please remember always when you do some changes in your Excel you need to save it again how do you do it simple either go to Windows click on save or you noticed there was a shortcut which showed you. If I just hover over it, you could see that there was a control S and that's exactly the shortcut for saving an Excel. So you just click on control and S. So it saves your Excel. So simple, we learned to save an Excel.
So I was talking about some customization, right? How do I ensure that, you know, Excel becomes easier for me? There are so many tabs out here and I'm not sure which tab does what. I probably need some shortcuts or some customization, right? How do I do that? So again, for that, what you do is you go to your Windows button, click on the Office button. You have here your Excel options. So click on the Excel options. You get the Excel customization options. So we will review these in detail. But for now, I'm just going to something called customize. Once you click on customize, you have a lot of menu prompt. So these are the different, different set of buttons which are available. But we'll not review any of these for now. I just want to show you one easiest quick access toolbar. So if you come down, you can see this show quick access toolbar, right? So just click on this. As soon as you click on this, there will be a show quick access toolbar, toolbar and you'll see that. I'll click OK. And as soon as I do that, notice this particular toolbar. There you go. So right now I have different different buttons, but then I promptly want to have a save button over here, which is going to be useful. I'm just going to do that again to show how you add it. So I go again to Windows. I go to Excel options and I go to customization or customize. I have my show quick access toolbar. And what are the tabs I want to show? So here is showing customize your quick access toolbar. For now, I'm going to go and use the save button and move it towards my right. So I have a save button. I also probably want to use, um, let's take a redo and add that. That's as simple. Oh, probably that's already there. That's why it's not. Oh, I don't want a redo, so I'm going to remove it. So that's how I just create and modify the buttons I want and remove the ones I don't. And I click OK again. So simple. There you go. I have your save button. So this is a simple way for you to navigate Excel when you're learning and to use your Excel as you begin. So going back to our slide, we have understood how to launch a Microsoft Excel. How do I customize this? We saw how we could create a quick access toolbar and we saw how to save and close an Excel. I hope this gives you quite a good overview of Excel.